Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 16 of my Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival Let's Play. In today's episode, we're going to be eating steak. Just kidding. We're going to be building an underwater village. Underground. So, double under. <laughs> underwater and underground. So, we cured two zombie villagers, and now we have two villagers that should like me very much. And then the other one is here in the flesh. He's just, uh, he's hiding in a boat somewhere. I think he's over here. Maybe? Yeah, there he is. You can kind of see the corner of his head. So, we have these two guys ready to go. And I think, okay, so I think the problem is there's not enough light over here. So, you can still plant the seeds, but this just is never going to grow. So, we need to put some, something here. Obviously, not, a torch is a temporary thing. We need to put maybe either a lantern under there or something. Because, yeah, they're just, some areas are not growing. Um, but yeah, I have all the stuff we're gonna use, I think. I don't really know what else we need. Maybe some wood? We got all the animals staring directly at me. What do you guys need? You need something? You guys want some steak? Yeah, you want some steak? Good boy. You want some steak? Good boy. You want some steak? You want some steak? You want some steak? Do you guys need any more? Wait, 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 wait. Does it- Oh, that's how you make them breed. I thought they were all hurt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. They all just like turned in a line. That's perfect. Okay, sweet. So now we have two more pups. Oh, you gotta sit down, buddy. You come here, you look so cute. Yeah, these guys sit down. You gotta sit down, buddy. Good boy. And the parrot, I guess he needs some seeds. But we don't have any uh we don't have any extra any extra parrots to make more parrots. Okay, well, let's go start this underground village. So I will say this off the bat. I did start my second channel. Link is in the top pinned comment down below and also in the description. The top like link in the description too, so you can find it in both places. I uploaded my first ever video on that channel like three days ago. And it's episode one of my new Terraria Let's Play. So that's the one I will continue. So if you guys are interested in that or you just want to subscribe to the new channel, I'm going to be playing a bunch of different games on it. Um, you can suggest those to me in my suggestions channel on my Discord. Link is also in the description. So I'm sorry to like, I don't have any like paid advertisements or anything. I'm just kind of advertising myself. So I hope it's not too annoying, but Please do subscribe if that's something that interests you. I'm going to be uploading it again, a bunch of different games. Some won't even be series. Some will just, just be like one-off videos. But if that's something you want to see me do, like see me play other games, then I would love to have you. And uh, thank you for considering a subscription. I appreciate you. Okay, anyways. So this is the underwater area that we're working with, right? And no, I don't really know how we're going to get anywhere. Um, like underwater, at least. I don't know if I should just do like a ladder straight down. Or something like that. I'm thinking that's what I want to do here. So let me just remove all these blocks. Um, at least like the ones that are directly below us. And then we're literally just going to make a ladder like straight down. I think that's what I want to do here. Um, so that's going to be like the front. Now draining this is going to be kind of a pain. I didn't really bring any blocks to do it with. Oh, I should probably, probably do that. <laughs> um, but it, it, it'll all come together here in a, in a moment. So... First and foremost, we need to craft a chest so that we can store some stuff because this ain't going to work right now. Too many random blocks and it's just, well, oh no, it's uncanny. So let's just put some stuff up. We're not going to need everything all at once. There we go. Okay. Um, so like I said, there's just going to be a ladder here. It's just going to go straight up and down. Um, and then we're going to use brick slabs for the flooring. So I'm going to grab some brick slabs off the bat. And then I think the floor is going to start, like, probably right... Uh, where is my pickaxe? Like, right here? You know what? I don't even need the golden apple anymore. I probably should have put that up. Uh, but the brick slab is going to start right here. And then everywhere that's, like, under, if that makes sense, is going to be this. So these are going to be, like, the framing blocks for our underground structures. So it is going to be a little tricky to get them everywhere. Uh, but I think as time goes on, we'll be able to do it pretty easily. I'm not going to have any, like, corner, so, I don't know. it'll make sense once I start building, okay? It'll make sense, I promise. And then we just have to put our ladder, so let's grab that. So the ladder will go down right here, and I do have respiration three. Okay, so why is it not removing the water? The ladder, that is. Because usually I thought ladders removed water, huh? Bruh, what? I'm pretty sure ladders are supposed to... Maybe, that, maybe I'm thinking of doors. Okay, whatever. Well, let's just close this off for now. And then we'll just fill it up with brick. Sure. It doesn't really matter where it's filled up with. Okay. And now we can put our ladder, right? There we go. Our first foray into the underwater. So now we have an underwater entrance. And now 
we just get to build. So I'm going to build this tube. It's going to come out to like right around here. And there's going to be a bunch of buildings on this level. So I want to go down. Hmm. I want to go down more. So I think I might actually extend this down some. So give me a bit. Okay. So I've kind of, you know, brought it down. And now I'm just kind of extending it outward into this area. Now I'm not going to make all the paths like this thin. I think most of them will actually be bigger. Uh, but at least the entrance path, you know, has a three high a uh, three high ceiling dude i'll tell you respiration three is so nice for when you're building underwater and the fact that this is an underwater an underwater underground base is just all all too cool for me yeah dude that's sweet so we probably want to get some glowstone to at some point and kind of like lighten up the whole area around here um and of course this is going to kind of fill back in for a second but that's okay uh, but as you can see, there's a ton of areas like I'd love to have lit up like over here You can't really see anything and it's gonna make it look so much cooler um, but You can see this chiseled brick is kind of what I'm using if there's like an area like you don't want glass here because you just see a bunch of stone I also don't know what I'm gonna do for lighting in here. I guess just glowstone in the floors or something I don't know we'll figure it out but either way. I gotta go get some more glowstone I'm probably gonna go to the nether and get glowstone um, this says fortune three, so I can use this to break glowstone patches um, because, yeah, we're going to need a ton of glowstone. So let's actually put up all the stuff we're going to use in a building. I'm going to put this and I decided I'm not going to use slabs because you have to apparently you have to fill them in with a water bucket. It makes no sense to me. I'm like, why wouldn't why wouldn't it just start out when it's like, you know, the slab is filled with water. You have to like put a water bucket on it to make it not have an air pocket, which is uh, it's going to take way too long. So I'll meet you guys in the nether. Okay, so instead of going to the nether, I ran up to my gold mine base, and I grabbed a bunch of stuff from the chest that I had been meaning to move anyways. And our our chest is already full. I'm going to take the tools out. I think I was putting the tools in here. Um, and yeah, as you can see, we got 30 more blocks of coal. But I wanted to build a big, like a really, really big uh, nether portal, because I was like, I hate having to walk all the way down here every time I want to go to the nether. Or all the way up. Sorry, because you guys know it's like all the way on the surface. So, and we do have a ton of iron. We have like, a, you know, half of a double chest full of iron. So we don't need to worry about that. Um, but I wanted to make it really cool looking. Maybe we could do it behind this waterfall or something like that. Maybe like put it like right over here. I really don't know. But all I know is I do want it to be fairly large. So I think I'm going to cut out this little area right here. And since we have so much, I know you don't have to do this. Um... But I want to make it like really like big and like fancy looking, I guess. I don't know. Maybe this is too much. Um, but you see what I mean? And then I can go over up here. Hold on. Oh, I could use ladders. That's 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 pro gamer strats right there. And then have it two blocks thick all the way over here. So I may need to build this up. So give me a little bit. I'm just going to make a cool looking nether portal. And then I'm going to bring it down right there. Okay, there we go. And now it's going to remove all this junk. Make a little line of obsidian down here. And we got to obviously connect it so that it will see this as another. Okay, I didn't mean to put that there. Uh, it's not too bad to break. We have efficiency five. I'm always so scarred from the old days where, like, if you messed up on a nether portal, man, it would take forever. Now, it's not supposed to be, like, even at all. I'm going to put a bunch of, like, lush stuff on this eventually. So I'll, like, start that. And then hopefully I'll remember to come back here and put more on it. But let's go ahead and light this. But yeah, obviously it looks a little funky right now because, you know, I need to still do that. And over here, I agree, this looks a little weird, so we're going to fill that in. And then might as well fill it in down there. That way it looks convincing. So now we have a giant nether portal. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Okay, let's go get a bunch of glowstone and we're going to mine it all with this Fortune 3 Diamond Hope. Okay, so where is this spawn at? I don't think it's going to be too far away from my other one. Although, it's sure, I think my other one is up there. Because I'm going to say, this is the nether fortress that's like right next to our base. Oh, but luckily, we are in nether waste biome. Which is like known as the best biome for gathering pretty much everything. It's like the easiest to navigate. And there's also a ton of glowstone. So, I'm just going to go glowstone farming. Hopefully, there's a bunch that's like actually near the surface so we'll have to like climb up to ridiculous heights yeah there's our old nether portal i figured it'd be close because i mean it's not that far away but yeah it is kind of tricky to get glowstone if it's like all the way you know up there or something i don't really see any i see a big piece over here but is this hanging over a bunch of lava 
Um, hey, what the heck? Let's forget these guys attack you. I'm sorry, little buddy. I'm very sorry, little buddy. Okay, I'm gonna get glowstone. I'll come back in a bit. Alright, so I figured I'd time lapse at least getting one of these big old chunks. And let's see how much that ends up with. So, with Fortune 3, each piece will drop four. So, the max it can drop. And let's see, how much was that? So, if we did it right. Okay, so there should. We're missing three. Where could those three have gone? Huh. It's weird. Uh, we do have 39 glowstone. I'm gonna want at least, I think, a stack of glowstone, like minimum. So I'm going to go around and get more of these veins that you see. That one looks really easy to get. Although it might be over a lava ravine. So yeah, it might be over a lava ravine. We can build a platform under it. But like you got to ask yourself, is the time investment worth it when there's so many other ones? So I'll see you in a bit when I get two stacks of glowstone or so. Or maybe one. I don't know. Guess what I see? Look at you. What are you doing? Let's go see if we get weather skulls. I'd love to get like the six beacon monstrosity thing where you get all six effects at once. Um, will you guys give me anything here? Nope. <laughs> Just a face full of fire from a blaze. Jeez. All right. Well, I'm done getting glowstone, so I'll come back and like like I said, I'd come back when I have two stacks. I think I have about two stacks. I just built this big old platform up here. Man, the nether's a beautiful place, but there's nothing to do in it. Like, I never have any motivation to be here. I feel like once you get, like, you know, the wither skulls or... Oh, the wither skulls. <laughs> I guess that's what it's useful for. Because I really do want those four beacons here. We have almost two stacks of glowstone. I am happy with that number. I'm going to meet you guys back in the overworld. I'm done with this place. Let's bounce. Of course, as I'm leaving, we got a couple of these boys trying to, trying to come up on me. Let's see if we get any skulls. I'm just so funny. I can't believe I did that without looting three, dude. I, I told people that and they were like, no way, dude. That's This is way too hard. One and done. Let's see if I can hit him. Okay, that angle was just too hard. Okay, no, I'm not doing it with the blaze. Bye. Whoa. What? Hold on. I feel like I saw this and I was like, dude, I had a whole, e whole episode based around one of these mega glowstones. Look at this. Uh, uh, look at this dude. What? Oh, hold on here. Something ain't right. Dude, it's a mega glowstone. <laughs> wow. Hold on, I gotta get a better angle on it. Look at this, dude. The most mega glowstone that you've ever, that you've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. So this looks weird with shaders. I never really turn them, oh, I never really turn them on. Um, this is extreme volumetric lighting, but like look how vibrant the glow. Oh, nope Look how vibrant the glowstone looks, but dude, there's so much there like, You really don't need the glowstone to see the difference there. I mean like See the you don't need the glowstone. You don't need the uh, Whatever word I'm trying to say shaders to see how much glowstone there, but that's a lot I do want to stop this lava flow before I invest any time in trying to remove that because I don't want to like break it all and then lose it so we'll probably come back with like five or six stacks of close I actually I think that one may be like two stacks I don't know let's find out together we'll, we'll do a time-lapse of break in that one only because I think that beats the one that I found in my other survival let's play I mean that is just crazy to me dude Wow I'm like investing a lot of time into this one glowstone pocket I went and gathered a ton of netherrack and I'm gonna build a big platform under it so that we do not miss any of these amazing drops because, dude, there's going to be a lot. <laughs> there's going to be a lot. So let me build a big platform and then we're going to time lapse this bad boy. All right, and let's break the last little bit on camera and then collect it all so I don't have any inventory space at all So I'm gonna come over here. We do not need netherrack in that amount. We don't really need that stuff either um, 
Okay, let's see. How much do we get? Wow. Okay, so over a stack. Wow, I think it's... That was almost two stacks of glowstone, dude. Whoa. No, I think it was two stacks of glowstone. Wow, dude. Where's that one piece of glowstone? It's like we always lose one, but dude, now we have a lot of glowstone. Okay, let's go back to the home base and uh, do some stuff. All right, here we are. Back in the overworld. And I really do gotta say, I'm happy with how this world is turning out. Okay. I'm happy. Okay, to be fair, I did just log off and log back in. Uh, but I am happy that this world is becoming the you know what it is now because that big nether portal that thing over there dude it just looks good right our house looks good obviously it's not finished yet so don't look at it uh but this world's turning out really well and we have our magic chicken farm over there and uh yeah I th i'm having a lot of fun with it so i hope you guys are too um now we get to light up this cave down here i don't even know if it's a cave it's an aquifer sorry it's above a cave it's fancier and uh the reason i want to do that is not you know obviously mobs can't spawn here but I want to be able to see it. <laughs> like, I'd love to be able to, like, you know, kind of see my house. So I'm going to go around and just kind of randomly put glowstone lights everywhere. So don't mind me. I'll come back in a bit when I'm done. Um, the more exciting stuff is, like, over here on this wall. It's really dark. Not even light from above will come down in here. Um, you know, just going on this wall and just putting a couple of lights. It should look pretty snazzy. There you go. Even with just one. See how much better it looks down here? All this stuff up there. Oh, it's going to look sweet. See you in a bit. I promise, guys. I can explain. <laughs> uh, so, I guess for some reason I've made this into like... Maybe this was already... I mean, it was already like this. But I lit it up so now I can see it. We have created a haven for these little fishies. They uh, absolutely love it down here in this tropical area. So, now we have just... I mean, the village is going to be surrounded by fish, which is cool. I went ahead and lit up most of it. I used around like two stacks we have two stacks left a little over two stacks and man it looks really good you guys see what i was going for here a little underwater uh village i think it's gonna be sick um so the villager breeder uh, which is the first thing we need to construct obviously uh, i don't know how big i want it to be like i actually have no idea like no idea at all all i know is that these are gonna be like the outline blocks okay so like everywhere there's an edge so the villager breeder probably needs to be like it needs to be pretty big. It needs to have three high ceilings, so the glass will be in between all of these. You see what I mean? This is kind of like the framing for it. So glass will go like right here, and it'll go right here. And it'll just look a lot better if we make it like this. Because then from the outside, it looks like it actually has some sort of framing. <laughs> and it's not like just some magic thing. And like right here, where there's a joint. Oh no, we're about to lose air. Respiration 3 is insane. It makes building underwater fun. I like building underwater because it's kind of like, you know, building in creative because you can fly, you know, kind of. Now, obviously, you don't fly in the traditional sense, but you fly pretty well. And then, I don't know, how many, how long did I make it over there? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I went up. Okay, so I'm going to finish building out this room. I don't know how, like, wide I'll make it yet. Or not wide, how long I'll make it yet, but probably like... I'm trying to think how big of a villager breeder I really need. And it can go into the wall even, uh, but I'd like to have like this area carved out just a little bit. So I'm going to work on this, and uh, when I'm done, I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so I almost finished building this little platform area, and or the outline area, and there you go. That's how it looks. Now I just get to fill it all in with glass, and then again, we're going to do a brick um, floor. Now, the problem is, I don't think I have enough bricks, like, on me to finish this. I really don't know. Uh, we'll kind of find out together, but I also forgot that we have to drain it on the inside. So maybe getting some sponges soon would be a good idea. Maybe that can be what tomorrow's episode is, is getting sponges instead of uh, trying to somehow, some way, build a creeper spawner. I don't think I have it in me this weekend, because, oh, I'm getting sucked down. We've already recorded so much footage, like... This episode, I don't know how long it is, probably this one will be about an hour or so. So I think I'm going to hold off, at least for a little bit. Um, maybe do the creeper spawner next uh, weekend. But we can go look for some sponges next episode. Because if we want to keep adding on to this village tomorrow, after we get the sponges, that'll make it so much easier. Because, yeah, it's just kind of hard to do without i don't even know what i'm gonna use <laughs> i'll have to go get some cobblestone from the house or something because there's gonna be no point in trying to do it when it's 
Uh, like with blocks, that would take forever. Okay. Uh, so all the walls are done. Now I just gotta do the ceiling in here. Okay. There we go. So now it's all filled in. Oh, obviously, I don't really have a <laughs> don't have any way to clear it out just quite yet. Um, like I said, we're probably gonna get sponges before we can do anything more with this because it's. I don't know. I feel like I have to at least complete this one in this episode, the villager breeder. So, hmm. Yeah, what the heck am I talking about? <laughs> we're only like 23 minutes of the episode. So what I'm gonna do now. Uh, man, I'm not looking forward to the uh, underwater temple in tomorrow's episode. That's going to be a difficult challenge. I know, yeah, that and I don't know where one is, so that'll make it even harder. But I've got to go down here, and uh, we're going to use like moss or something that I can break super duper quick. Let's just hope I have enough moss, but I'm pretty sure I do. Um, I did have to use like a lot. Oh, no. Do I not have any moss? No, dude, I don't have any moss. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have any moss. I used it all. Wait. <gasps> Is this enough to fill it up, though? It's enough to do enough of it. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to craft a little bit of a fence gate here. Um, I know there's, n like, no chance, obviously, they can really get out with a ladder if you break the bottom block. But I want to be I want to be overly cautious here. And this gives you two, right? Okay. <laughs> well, that's the st most stingy Minecraft recipe ever. It just gives you one. Doesn't it give you more than one fence gate? Hold on. I'm pretty sure it gives you more than one fence gate, doesn't it? Or, or like, fence. Yeah, it gives you more than one fence and not more than a fence gate? Hmm. Um, but, yeah. We're going to put it, like, down here, like, somewhere right about here. Hold on. Let me make sure none of these are water. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. We'll just put it, like, right there. Okay, now we get to come in here. We're going to fill it with moss blocks. I don't think I'll have enough necessarily to fill it, but we can, like, fill it in sections. And then cut. Oh! <laughs> I was like, now I'm done. You guys are like, Neo, you forgot a wall. There would have been a big leak at that point. Okay, I'm going to fill this bad boy up. Wish me luck. Should be super fun. Maybe we should just fill the top layer first. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the top layer is almost filled. And then hopefully I don't drown. No. Okay, only three left. And then I can go around and just... We got the whole top layer gone. Oh, heck yeah, dude. It's going to be dark in here. I think, again, we'll use glowstone lighting. Um, I just don't know how to implement it. Maybe we'll use lanterns because I don't want to have too much glowstone. Like, if we're using that for area lighting, I'd rather not have it as the same lighting in the house. But <laughs> it reminds me of in uh, Mario Super Mario 64 where, you know, those water, those levels that have water that raise and like, uh, lower. It reminds me of that. <laughs> it's like slowly going down. Okay, so I say I got all the moss back. We're not actually losing any of the material. We just have to have enough. And this is an excellent material to do it with. There we go, dude. Cool. Okay, let me finish. Okay, so the last little layer going in right now. Um, I guess I can't really... Hold on. <laughs> got to walk over here. Okay, so now all the water's gone in here. And we just have to clear the moss infection out of here. Now, I think I'm going to use probably lanterns. Maybe even soul lanterns. I'm not really sure yet. And it's just so satisfying to break this stuff. It really is. Dude, nice. Um, we have an underwater building. Yay! I was uh, actually kind of worried that this wouldn't happen this episode. Uh, now we just have to break the floor out in some areas and then turn like half of it into a farm. So I think we'll use something to represent beds. Um, let me just make some like cobblestone slabs so I can kind of do this in my head do the visualization so we have a bed a bed a bed a bed and then you have another row maybe right here a bed because it can't fit can you just do like a straight pallet of beds you know what i mean like just beds like just entirely like this i'm pretty sure you can and then over here um can be all just farm blocks and then the job blocks can be i don't know on this like back wall or something Okay. Sounds good to me. Now now we got to figure out the fun part. <laughs> uh, how are we going to get the villager down here? And also, how are we going to get that many beds? So it's kind of something I neglected to think about. So like I said, we could do a drop farm with the spiders, but then I wouldn't be able to do that this episode. Um, I don't know where any sheep are. And breeding takes a while. Like, it really does. So, which reminds me, we should probably breed the cows. 
Um, but breeding takes a while, so I'm not going to do breeding. So I guess the only real method I can think of is just farming it uh, from mine shafts, which is not that hard. It's just I feel like you don't get that much. Well, let me see. We had like a 58 stack um, that we got in a mine shaft. You guys remember? Oh yes, we can breed twice now. That's what I was excited about. There we go. We get two babies this time. Heck yeah, dude. Looking good, guys. And I really like the way this cow pen looks. I think it's beautiful. I'm excited to record Terraria, too. I don't know when I'm going to record the second episode on the new channel, the Neo Cubist Gaming, but it won't be too long. Um, so, yeah, we got like 56. We have two right there. Now, where is the rest of it? Hold on. Why is there two stacks of glass in this chest? There was like two stacks of glass. And I'm like, wait, what? Why? Um, I don't see the string, which is kind of disappointing because I know I just had the string. Did I put it in the building chest over there? Possibly. Also, I'm going to take the rest of this. As much of it as I can get. We can just throw out some, some sticks. Hold on. Let's check this chest. And we also got to go blackstone mining uh, because we need more support blocks or frame blocks, whatever you want to call them. Um, before we stop building here too, we need to make sure we build supports. Okay. I'm going to try to make everything look as good as possible. It's just building underwater is a tricky feat, right? Because there's not a whole lot you can do, uh, to make it look, why can I not go sh like hold down shift and go down? It like wasn't letting me. It's so weird. Um, but putting supports on your builds, it's just, it's never a bad idea. So see, like I'm holding shift. I'm holding shift right now. What? Is it because I start swimming or something? I think that's why. It's like I'm floating the wrong way, man. Now, is this string in here? That's the question. Okay, it is in there. Okay, cool. But I wanted to put up all these build materials because we're not going to need them anymore. Um, at least for right now. Sure. We'll put the moss in there too. So let's see. Like if we have 56 string, how much wool does that equal? Ah, 14 pieces. Okay. So maybe we should just go in, um, in a mine shaft. I mean, there's one literally in this cave. There's also one I have not explored. I'm probably going to go to that one. Uh, but yeah, this is how that looks. It just looks more supported, I guess. You could argue that, like, oh, this, you know, this... Okay, see see what I mean? It floats me up. It's like, you'd be like, oh, is there not structurally sound? I mean, they're, they're structurally sound, kinda. They go down. <laughs> and they, they hold weight. Maybe not... Maybe the middle of this building is a little, uh... It's also a little wonky. It doesn't have any cross beams. Maybe... Should go down three blocks to go over two. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna make it... I'm gonna make it more structurally sound. Go down three blocks. Two, three... And go out too. Okay. Look at this guys. Look at me. I'm gonna go all the way. And then we go up, over, up, over, up, over. Up, over, up, over, up, over. There you go. Will that make you guys happy if I do it like this? Do I have enough blocks even to complete this? Uh, that's the question. I don't know the answer to it. Over, up, over. I see my I see my breathing, but I'm okay, look. I didn't even drown. I had zero. I had zero bubbles. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess it's just just determined based on, um, based on how your respiration is because you don't actually die when you reach zero bubbles. It like waits one more breath tick. I guess. Um. Okay. So this is done. This will this will look a lot better from like looking at it from above too. It'll look a lot more supported. That's for sure. Okay. It's all even. Nice. So now how does it look? It looks much more like an underwater structure block. Pretty cool. It is, a little, it is a little bit flat, but whatever. It's an underwater village. Man, it's so much brighter and like more colorful up here. So let's go get some string. We got a lot of inventory space. I didn't put up everything I should have, but honestly, this is a lot of space. I'm going to go for this many stacks. And the, the new mine shaft that I don't think I've shown you guys that I discovered is over in this direction so we'll go there and then a lot of it will be off camera because it's just clicking on string but some of it will be i'm sure but yeah it's just come over here if you're on this world and you might have seen all these spots you might have already found everything that i've found and you're like neo i knew about that six years ago okay there we go and then it's over here i think it's that area that turns to that darker stone okay <laughs> so I may have lost it. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's just down over here. Yeah, where we were getting this, this, all this moss. Remember this? Yeah. And then it's just right down over here, maybe. I think further. And then over here. Yeah, there it is. Cool. 
Okay. Let's see if there's any string in there. Is there any string? Hello? String? Oh, look at that, dude. One fourth of a wool. I'll take it. We just need to find the spider spawners. Wow, that's lucky. Two mine chests like that. That's the only thing worth taking. Only thing worth taking. Where's the rest of this mine shaft, though? Oh, okay, here we go. There's like some string throughout, but most of it's just gonna be found near the spider spawners. So I'm gonna go look for those. Ooh, okay. <laughs> and when I find one, I'll come back and we'll do a time lapse on it. Guess what I found? <laughs> As you can tell by the poison. But look, also found diamonds. This is the Fortune 3. Oh, I thought a creeper was about to blow me up. Three diamonds, not bad. Um, but yeah, I think I found a bigger part of this mine shaft for sure. Um, I found another lush cave, I guess. I don't know if they're technically, like, attached or not. But I found another lush cave. I haven't seen any mobs, though. It's really weird. It's kind of eerie when you're underground. Those are, like, the first mobs I saw. I heard these spiders going all crazy. So I figured there was a, uh, spawner over here. How do you hit me from so far away, dude? He hits me from, like... This is double spawner. <gasps> double spawner. Double spawner. Double spawner. Double spawner. Now that's not common. I don't think I've ever seen that actually. A double spider spawner? I mean, I hate spider spawners. But like, how can you say no to a double string factory? Like, you can just have these drop into a big, like, abyss with like a bunch of hoppers at the bottom, and, like 50, 60 hoppers at the bottom. I regret now not bringing my axe. Yeah, we're gonna come back over here for sure, just to make a string farm, dude. Holy crap, this is awesome. Double spawners. I don't know how I get so lucky, dude. I really don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, this is the lush cave over here. Um, it looks pretty nice, I guess. It's not as big as our... Hey, dude. Now that looks sus. <laughs> oh, okay, there's one down there. Say, that doesn't look right. I don't think that's normal generation. Oh, just one... Just two. Okay, we have seven diamonds now. Hey, Axolotl, how you doing, buddy? Okay, let's get back up. Okay. Now, what else is in here? Ooh, this is a big one. Look at all those fish. They're fishy, fishy. You guys are crazy. So, I do want to get the coordinates. Um, is there anything else shooting me? No. But there was two skeletons. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go get uh I'm gonna go get those coordinates and then I guess we'll head back. Ooh, okay. How many diamond veins are we gonna find? This is the lucky lush cave right here. Cause I need to build up over here. Yep. I do not like the little moss carpet though. It makes it makes it so hard to build in here, you know? Now we have nine more diamonds. I swear dude, diamonds are just too common. We really we really don't need them. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'll keep them. I'll keep them. Oh, <laughs> -hoo! let's go, dude. Four diamond veins in like three seconds. And they're like, uh, we we reduced the air exposure. I'm like, all right. I remember reading that, and I was like, yeah. We'll see about that, dude. Because that's how I find my diamonds is by caving. I don't ever strip. Although that one time we strip mined, it was actually really fruitful. So maybe we should try more strip mining. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna grab the coordinates. We're gonna head back. I we don't really oh no wait, we can't head back. We don't have enough string. What am I talking about? Okay, maybe I'll make a little makeshift like spawner thing here. So I think they can go four blocks out in each direction. You know what? We could do this. We just need to drop some materials. Don't need that, I guess. That, that, that. What else can we drop? It pains me to drop some of this stuff, but like we can eat this. Could make a million of those, but we can use this one to get more of those pink flowers. We should come back here to get those. Oh my gosh! Let me just get the coordinates before I completely forget. I'm like making myself mad. Okay, 1740, negative 2478. Okay, cool. Anyways, I'm gonna dig out a big area around here and then uh, have them drop and then get some XP. Oh, and we had 14 diamonds by the way, but then I made a diamond axe because I am not breaking this stuff by hand. There's only a few blocks of it, but honestly, if it saves me that much time, it's so worth it. I was listening to some uh, some music here, digging this area out, and look, more diamonds. <laughs> We're getting too lucky, man. We're getting too. Ooh, this is a big old vein as well. These weren't air exposed. What was that? Was that a double vein of diamonds? 
We have 30 diamonds now. Like, what? Just with these, how do we get all these diamonds, dude? I mean, like, you guys can always come to the seed and you can check, like, the diamonds right there. Like, you guys ever doubt? You just come on the seed. I can't make the seed. If I could program like that, I could do some cooler stuff than make some diamonds appear, you know? Okay, so I'm making the staircase down to here. Uh, I'm gonna have to dig this down like a good bit. And uh, I also have to make the ceiling one block higher. Uh, but yeah, that's the progress that I've made thus far. If you know, want to give you guys some updates, don't want you to be completely in the dark here. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks so far. And then this is gonna be the staircase that goes all the way down to where they fall, which doesn't need to be that far. Guys, please leave a like for building a dungeon spawner in the end of an episode. I did not realize how long this would take. This is quite, it's quite a bit deep slate, and I want to go down all the way to that level. So, and to give you an idea, if I have a torch, I can just throw in there. All the way down to there. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but this is quite a large area, so please do leave a like. And I'm really excited to see how well this thing works. It's not going to kill the spiders, but they'll be weak enough where I can go down there and just whack them once, and we should be good. And then eventually we can put it, like, deeper down, and then put some, or, like, dig it deeper down, and then put some hoppers. And that's how you make an automatic one. So you can just sit here AFK and get infinite string. Uh, no XP, though. This is not the kind of farm you make into an XP farm. Anyways, just figure I'd give you another progress update, and that's where I am so far. Yes, dude, look at this. We are complete. I dug down to the layer I said I dig down to. I'm so excited because every time I go look at the new channel, it's growing and growing and growing. I guess people are really liking the Terraria Let's Play. And if you don't know what channel I'm talking about, first link in the description, also the top pinned link in the comment section below. Um, I made a new channel called the Neo Cubus Gaming. I don't know how you could have missed that. I feel like I've said it three times this episode, but. I'm going to play a variety of games on that channel, so if you want to see me, the Neo Cubist, play other games, subscribe to my second channel. Okay, I'm going to remove as many of these as I can without dying. Please don't spawn on me, spiders! I'm like, please don't spawn on me, like, uh, uh, I'm going to spawn on you, boss. Okay, well, there should be one kill, one hit kill. That's great. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's going to be tricky now because they're going to be crawling all over those blocks. They're going to be crawling all over these blocks. Okay. How can we do this? Just don't, just don't spawn another wave of them, please. No! <laughs> don't spawn them. I figured they could crawl, so this is so much more difficult. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so what I've got to do is like, do this and then put a block right there. That way they cannot crawl up. Wow, they're crawling. They're too smart. They're too smart. Uh, what do I do? Seriously, though, this poison is so annoying. I just wish it didn't make that noise. Okay, can I break that block? Yes. Okay, so we're good now. So now we can just, like, sit right here. Now, those, keep in mind, those torches are just client-side light, so they don't actually do anything. Wow, they're crawling everywhere. Okay, so they can crawl. Okay, so if they don't die, they're just gonna instantly crawl up. Okay, so that's tricky. That's tricky. Okay, so I need to bring them somewhere with water. But that's that's the part that sucks, right? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. So yeah, there's a bunch up there, and I don't know if they're gonna aggro on me or not. I guess I could just sit here and have like a spider arena <laughs> or something. So yeah, those guys up there are not going to come over to me. And I can't really make an infinite water source. Ooh, I'm in this sticky situation. Do I have any iron? No. There's got to be some iron around here, though. Hold on. Is there any iron? You're not iron. You're the opposite of iron. No one loves you, skeleton. That's why you have to run around and shoot everyone all the time. Uh, oh, yep, there's some iron, so I can make a little bucket. And then we can get some infinite water pretty easily. Okay, and let's go over here to my crafty table, my handy dandy crafting table. Okay, and then make ourselves, which I didn't know you could do this, but that's so nice that you can just use this like the normal kind. And that's all of the deep slate that we got. So, good bit. Um, you know, we'll, might as well just keep the clay, we'll just throw it in there. The string is what I really want, and I know we're going to get a lot of string pretty quickly. And it was three iron, which is literally perfect. We don't have any... We can actually use two sticks and two planks that'll work perfect so one stick i think gets you a half of an item so you got to be kind of quick about it to put in the next one okay let me wait on a bucket 
Okay, so I've never really worked with spiders, if I'm honest, especially I've never worked with the cave spider spawner. Just because they're kind of garbage, but the fact that there's two, I mean, that's that's literally too good to pass up. So I'm going to go down here, and I think we can have light down here, but, but maybe not, because you can see it goes all the way up to there. So I don't think we really can. Um, but I'm just going to put water on one side of this thing. I know it's not wide enough for water. I think the water will flow. Oh, yeah, perfect. All the way to the end, dude. Come on. Come on. Did he fall directly on me? Just the poison noise is so annoying to edit out. That's the only reason I don't like it, like, truthfully. Um, okay. And I need to go get some more blackstone out of my chest over here. So give me one moment. Okay. And then I think this is going to... Okay. Oh, that's right. If they fall into water, they might as well have not fallen very far at all because all the fall damage goes negated. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stop. I get it. I get it. You, you, yes, you're so strong. You're so powerful. Yeah. So we put a line like right here, right? Hear me out. You put a line like right there and then you have a way where you can just like go right here and uh, obviously put like a slab down and then you just hit them. Right? Wouldn't that work? Aren't they going to float right there and then try to go up? <gasps> okay, well, if I'm here, they're going to try to go towards me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm at a half heart. Hey. Hey. I forgot poison did that. Oh, buddy. Oh, but dude. I almost died from a cave. Dude, what if I lost my world from that? What would have been the dumbest world loss literally ever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you guys are probably yelling. Like, Neo. 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 I'm surprised I didn't see that earlier. Okay. That's a scary feeling. Almost losing the world from the, like, stupidest reason ever. That's not great. Okay. And we can put... Yeah, you can still see. Okay. Just to make this thing a little more secure. And I can put some torches up here as well. Okay. Jeez, dude. That would have been the biggest rip ever. That would have been a fat rip. Okay. Anyways, let's uh, let's go down here again once more. Let's try to break this out without dying. Right, and then I put slabs where I'm standing right now. Then I should be able to just kind of hit them. Now I know there's a bunch trapped in the corners up there, so but they they should get stuck on this ridge right here, right? Oh my gosh, they are thin. They are very thin. They're so thin. Wow, they slid right. They slid right through that. Okay, new plan. That doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Okay, I did not know that. I did not know that at all. So what am I going to do here then? That's so confusing. Well, wait, if I put water right here, will they fall into the water? Dude, I'm so confused on how to work with cave spiders. There's no way I can make it where I can hit them because I can't... I wish there was like a two-thirds block. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought I heard a, I thought I heard a creeper, dude. I thought I was toast right there. Okay, we're just going to block it off. Also, there is a ton of spiders that are stuck up in the corners. And those are the guys that I'm going to have to get eventually because they're s impeding my spawn rates here. Okay, so that's all blocked off. That's all good now. All right, so I've got to devise a method then for cave spiders. Let me look up some videos on how people handle it on YouTube because they're smart. Dude, I literally watched the first, like, five seconds of the video, and I was thinking to myself, man, I'm real smart. <laughs> so the solution is pretty easy, um, relatively. You have to make them sit on a slab. Here, I'll explain it. I'll explain it. I just gotta be careful, because there's gonna be so many spiders here. I just can't believe they can go through that. Okay. Yes, you got me poisoned. Oh, no. You're so tough. So the solution is to put the slab right here, right? Hold on, it'll make sense in a second. Haha. <laughs> okay, so you put the slab right here, and then you go down a block like this. Okay. And then you break, I don't know where the edge of it is. You break like this block, and then you put a trap door. And that way they can't go through. That's ingenious, right? I think so. Now, they're going to be like in a big line here, but when we sit up there and then we come back... Oh, hey, dude, dang it, not the poison again. <laughs> okay, well, let me wait for them to build back in a minute. Um, hopefully, the ones up there will despawn. 
But then I can just come down here. I guess I didn't need to bring that down, did I? No, probably not. Could have left it right there. I gotta be careful. I'm about to die again. From, from poison spiders. So yeah, I can just stand here and just go... And thwack them. Wait. Oh, I oofed. What did I oof? What did I oof? I oofed something, dude. This doesn't work. <sighs> I think I've... Hold on. Yep. I... Yep. Okay. Do this, wait, does this need to be built up one? Wait a second. How does this work? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let me think. So I can get to them here. But they need to be, like, floating here. I guess. I, ideally, I need the water to go one further and, like, push them against this. Wait, but now they have nothing for, like... They have nothing to, like, sit on. They're, like, not sitting on anything. Is it like this, then? Oh, yeah, it would be exactly like this. And then they can they can slide up in that little area when they want to attack me. Yeah, there's a ton stuck up there. That's why hardly any are spawning. That and I'm too far away from it, from it to make spawns happen. Okay, so that'll be better, right? Yeah, now they'll get trapped right there and go... I should be able to get the drops, right? And, you know, whatever. I'll just have to walk over here and just get the traps man... Or, or get the drops manually. Whatever. It's it's really not too big of a deal. I'll just even... I'll even build a little staircase. Like right here. So I can walk over here. And do some... Do some magic. Hop down here. Yeah. It'll work. It'll work. Let me let him build up. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh. All right, well, it turns out my design did not work, and I figured that out after coming back after 20 minutes, and the spiders were everywhere in here. I did modify the design quite a bit. <laughs> a lot, uh, quite a bit. And uh, you can also see I have this little waiting room where I can sit here and wait, and wait for them to spawn. As you can hear, there is a ton of mobs down there. So I had to make, like, this little channel. It's not that big. It wasn't that hard. It was just kind of tricky to build, but let's see how many are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think this is way more, way more string than we'll ever need. Dude, what? I gotta figure out whose video I watched and give them credit, like, right now, because this works very well. Now, unfortunately, I can't get the XP. <laughs> you can't get the XP at all, or any of the drops. Um, I guess you need a hopper. I think they put hoppers under these slabs right here. Oh, I could break this block. Wait, why is this block right here? You could just walk along this and get them all. What the heck? We'll just break that block. Okay. Let's see how much string is that. Oh, and it's quite a bit of XP as well. It's all in one little ball. It's actually a ton of XP, dude. This is awesome. I have to remember these coordinates. 1751, negative 2479. Okay. Cool. Well, I think we have enough string maybe for now. I'm going to wait like 10 or 15 minutes or so off camera and uh, just AFK there for a bit. Scroll around on my phone and then we're going to come back and we're going to see how many because that was like five minutes. Like that was not very much. I just can't believe we found another double spawner. Like, Dude, what are the chances? How do we find another double spawner? But yeah, this this turned out to be way bigger of an endeavor to get string than I thought. I thought we were going to go to the mine shaft, grab some beds. No, we made a double spawner. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. It's been like 10, 15 minutes. Spoder's been falling. I think there's a lot. Yeah, there's like 150 down there. So let's go find out how much string that equates to because I think we put some of the string up. Yeah, so... I think we may have more wool than we need because we only need like what maybe 36 beds which would be like 90 wool wow wow <laughs> that's a lot of spiders dude I've never had a spider spawner before oddly enough like I seriously never have Okay, let's kill them all. Now we get the string. And all the spider eyes, too. 
Jeez, yeah. So we'll collect that, and we'll make the wool. So that's one stack of wool, which is a lot of beds. And that's more than enough wool. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get this XP, then I'm gonna meet you guys back at the area of the house that has... My brain is so dead. I'll meet you in the underwater area. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, so I came back up here and it was bugging the crap out of me how disorganized this uh, whole area is. So I'm doing a little bit of TLC here just to make it look a little bit better. It's not actually going to be a whole lot better, but it is more organized. I put everything in blocks now and stuff like that. Just so that this thing looked visually a little less confusing when you were in here. So now I think I have everything organized somewhat like the diamond stuff this other stuff in here like the iron can go under there but then like obsidian and stuff like this these are just kind of rare materials so i keep them in here as well but now that's a lot more organized and it makes me a whole lot happier to look at which is good right um oh i didn't i forgot the lapis oh we can put it right there there we go there's the copper where was that other piece of lapis there we go now it's all nice and organized Okay, so let's take some of the numerous amounts of wood we have and let's make some beds. Now, the big problem with beds is they don't stack, so we're going to have to... Why, why do you unload all the time? I need to play with my Optifine settings, but we're going to go over here and craft some beds, uh, but we got to put our inventory up into something before we do that because, again, like, you can't... Oh, uh, I still have some raw copper blocks with this. Oh, uh, it would be such a shame if those just got thrown into lava over here. They're just so hard to get so valuable. There's no lot. Never mind. We'll just leave it there. <laughs> okay, so I ran all the way back there to get some lighting for this. So we have a block. Or not a block. We can make a bunch of lanterns with these. Jeez. And then I am going to make a bunch of beds now. So like I said, beds don't stack. So this will probably fill up our inventory. And I don't even know how many we're going to need. Like, I'll be honest with you. I do not remember. I probably want to grab my pickaxe, though. Um, and I don't want to create too many beds because again, they don't stack and it's just terrible to have them all in your inventory all willy-nilly lack uh, We don't need this We don't need this. Oh, it's so painful. I know I know when I do stuff like that people get angry. They're like Neil I'm not gonna watch you break the wood with the pickaxe I'm Like I get it. I get it. We're finally back here. It's like 30 minutes later, but hey, we're back here So let's see how many do we need so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Okay, so we need 9 more beds. That's it. So, yeah, they're a little ugly. <laughs> you know, just 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 a wee bit ugly. And middle clicking actually is really helpful for this. I never middle click. I used to, so, you know, when I started my channel, I don't know if you knew this, but I used to do tutorials a lot. Uh, and, and in every single house that I built, I always put a blue orchid. So that's why the blue orchid is so special to me. Um, it's just because I always use it. So how many more do I need? So three, six, nine. I need nine more. Wait, I just had said that. <laughs> yeah, I might have got a little too much wool, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Nine more beds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So that's nine beds. Don't need any of this other stuff now. Um, a little bit extra wool. It's okay. So let's go ahead and make some lanterns here. How many is this going to make? Oh, not very many at all. Wow, lanterns are expensive, man. Okay. I was expecting a lot more. Okay, nugget me. Nugget me up. Oh, where did the torches... What? Where did the torches go I was crafting with? Did you guys see that? They're not in my hand. Did they just disappear? Huh? I don't even know, man. I don't, even, I don't even know at this point. Oh, there are the torches. Okay. I was like, where do the torches go? Okay, so we have over... Oh, we already had a bunch of lanterns. Oh, man. Dude, I forget every time when I craft stuff. I'm going to be like, I need to check. Have I made these recently? And yeah, I had. Well, oh, whatever. Okay. So now we have all the beds down at least. Now we just have to figure out how to get the villagers in here. Um, and then obviously we need some crops. Which I think are going to grow like right here. So we're going to break all this out. And we're going to put dirt in here. Which I forgot to grab dirt. So let me go get it. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully I remembered to time-lapse that. Now let's see, do I have to put water down? Because I feel like there's enough water in here. I got I gotta not hold those anymore. It's bugging me. Um, I feel like this should saturate, right? Yeah, it is, okay. Now, I know that there's a few that might not saturate just because, like, water only goes four, so this would be like one, two, three. No, it looks like even those are. Maybe you can do it from below. No, see, that one's, tr or maybe I didn't get that one. I don't know. Um, let's see, where's, like, the center of this room? Is there a center? It's, like, right here. Okay, put it right here and right here. So I don't want to have, like, a ton of lanterns. Um, I'll probably put them in, like, all the corners, though, for sure. And then probably put one right here and then have two, like, right there. And the villagers should be able to figure out how to get to the beds. Like, that's that's the hope, at least, right? The villagers are smart, right? right? <laughs> You'd hope so. They have to be smart, okay? They're villagers. They're just the greatest. Now, getting them down here, like I said, is going to be a struggle. I don't know how I'm going to get them down here, but I can do my best to get them down here. And if, if they somehow don't get down here, then, well, I guess we're just in a world of hurt. So, need this. Probably need a slab. Um, just because I have to add water, which is kind of ironic that this is an underwater base, yet all the crops are not getting grown. Yeah, it's just those in the middle. So there's no middle, which is really unfortunate. So I'm just going to do like these two blocks. Um, so put it there, grab some water, put it there, and then just slab, slab. Okay. So now everything will be good. Now I did grab, I was smart, and I grabbed some bone meal, and I grabbed the two potatoes we had. Let's grow it in potatoes. Okay. There we go. We're gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna have another McDonald's breeder. Serve uh but fr McDonald's French fries and burgers. You guys remember when we had a McDonald's one, right? I still thought I should have been sponsored by McDonald's. They could have done a cool brand deal with me. I I, I would only accept payment and McDonald's gift cards. I don't eat at McDonald's, it's kinda of Something about that food, unless it's the only place open, like, I'm not going to eat there. Because you can spend just a little bit more money. Go to some place like, you know, go to Qdoba or something and get a lot better food. Go to Panda Express. At least it's somewhat fresh. Okay. Even though everything comes in bags, like all the chicken and stuff. The only thing that doesn't come in bags is the vegetables. And they'd like show those off like, oh, it's so impressive. Look, we have vegetables. It's like, you guys ever seen a restaurant kitchen? <laughs> you ever see like the prep pantry? Come on, guys. Because I definitely haven't. Because, you know, I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. What do I know? Okay, but at least everything is kind of growing now. I'm going to kind of speed up the growth a little bit. Um, I might actually go through a full harvest cycle on these. Yeah, I probably should. Because if I go through a full harvest cycle, then that means that the extra potatoes I have, I can throw to the villagers and they can immediately start breeding. Now, hopefully they will see this as an actual house. I don't know if they will. I hope so. I guess they just need a bed. They just need job blocks. And then they're pretty much happy. Um, man, this is a lot of potatoes. This is a lot of potatoes. Okay. So how many extra potatoes is this going to give me? I feel like quite a bit. Jeez, dude. I didn't realize. I thought I was going to end on like the second row. I'm still going on the fourth row here. Dude. Let's go. Okay, so everything past this line is grown. Okay, how many potatoes is this? How many potatoes is... <laughs> how many potatoes do you have? I have three potatoes. <laughs> That's how you sound. You say it like potatoes. Or say potatoes. I have... I have three potatoes. Sorry, it's been a long day. Okay, so now these are growing. Whoop do do. Now I need to make some of those uh, barrels. So how do we make a barrel? No, composter, 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 composter. I almost made the wrong thing again. I've made that so many times. Is it like this? Is it like this? Wait, is this the recipe that's all slabs? Okay, I don't even have enough. I know it's frustrating for me too. It's literally all slabs. It's great. Okay. There we go. Now I need to make some composters. We can only make 18 with that much wood. Bruh. Okay. So I think the composters can just go like this, right? Now, can they be double stacked? I think they have to be able to be reached. Oh, they have to be able to be reached by the villager. So I don't know where I can put more. I guess I could just put more like right here. 
<laughs> it is compact, and they do have a walkway and then a walkway over to the farm. Pretty slick, dude. Pretty slick indeed. Okay. That's nice and stuff. So now I just need to get the villagers in here. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have the villagers in here yet. Okay, this might be a little bit of an issue. Maybe I should push them in this hole. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think a ladder is the move here because they're going to be like halfway down the ladder and be like, Oh, well, you know what? Nah, I don't want to go down this ladder. I want to go over here, of course. So I think the only course of action here... I forget. Oh, it's efficiency four. I was going to say, we just don't have an enchanted axe, do we? Um, so what I'm going to do is just put water at the bottom of this hole. So they'll just fall in here and like they'll be generally okay. right? It'll flow all the way. It, does, it doesn't even matter where it flows to. Um, oh, yeah. We have to get out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Okay. So can I even break the line? Oh, no, no. I know how to do this. Got to be tricky about it. Okay. There we go. And then I can... There we go. I just have to break the ones below me. There we go. There we go. Wasted a little bit of ladder, but whatever. And then you put a trap door up here so they think, oh, this is a path. Yep, it's totally a path. Um, now, if we get a job block, we can kind of make them, like, encourage them to follow and go to the job block. So what I'm going to do is release our first zombie villager. Woohoo! Haven't had one of those in a long time. And uh, let's get him out here. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go over here. Hey, look, there's a job. Come here, man, there's a job for you. He's like, I'm finally free. <laughs> I've been in that hole my whole life. <laughs> Literally his whole life, like, unless he... Are you gonna come over to this job block or not, dude? You're crazy, come here. No, come, okay. All right, he wants to play hardball, so we're gonna play hardball right back. Do you wanna go back in the hole? No, don't. Oh, no, dude. Don't actually go back in the hole. Okay, you silly boy. Okay, come on. Come on, get here. Look at this. It's a job. Nope, you, you don't get it yet. You don't get it yet. Hold on. Why did, why did it break that instantly? Okay, come here. Look, there's a job right here. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, a job. <laughs> I saw a Python MC do this, and I was like, oh, yes. It's the greatest method. Okay, you come over here. Look, there's a job. <laughs> I almost had it. <laughs> it's like doing that thing. It's like that meme. Come on. Oh, almost. <laughs> you are going to be a farmer, though. I'm not, like, totally tricking him. Like, he is going to eventually be a farmer. Okay, let me get him all the way here. And a close boop. Take it. And then come right over here to this job block that's not suspicious at all. This is perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's killer, dude. Okay, let's see if he becomes... Let's see if he becomes a farmer. Yeah, instantly he came in. He's like, yep, farmer life. Okay, but one thing I do have to do is make some more ladders. Because those are going to despawn by the time I get down there. Okay, let's go get this other one. This other one's, like, further away, but really not that far. Okay, wow. I am so smart. I need to make more sticks. This episode is going to be very long, but it's okay. It's okay. Again, like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like sometimes I think about it at night, you know, because, like, YouTube, I take YouTube pretty serious, right? It's like my job. So I think about it, and I'm like, should I start editing videos like other people do? Because I see everyone else has big channels and everyone else all these big numbers and stuff, and it's like, I want to be myself, I guess. And I talk about it so much. So maybe it's because I'm insecure about it because my videos are actually not as good as other people's. I don't know. I'm happy with the amount of views I get, though. I really am. Of course, you know, you always want to get more views and more views and whatnot. Okay, so there's a lot of job blocks here. So this is going to be a little tricky. Come here. Come out here immediately. Yeah, because there's a ton. There's that stone cutter in there. I'm worried he's going to get attracted to the stone cutter. Yep, come on. Keep on the trucking. No, no, no. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Whoops. I need to make sure I not lose this guy. Okay, come over here. Because I don't know how far they will, like, really reach for it. Seems like pretty good distance. About, like, over here. Oh, yeah. I guess he was still running this way. Okay, come on. Keep on trucking, buddy. Let's, let's at least get him on the path. The path to enlightenment. <laughs> A.K.A. the path to a hole. 
I'm surprised how well that worked. And that was kind of in the moment. I put those little sides on it because I'm like, what if you watch to the side slightly? And I guess it actually worked. Yep, come on. Thank you, Python. If you if you ever watch my videos or you see this, uh, I appreciate it, Python, because I had never seen this before, and I'm, I don't know, you know necessarily know if you're the other one who invented it. By the way, mob AI is broken because of these bushes. Like it literally is just broken. They do not know how to inter interact with it. Like they have no idea. Okay, and then the last, but surely not least, come on over to the Sunny Springs Farms, where you too can become a winner. No, 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 you want a farm. No, 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 no. Hold your horses here, buddy. You must go to the farm. Yes, go. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You're crazy. We will leave that trap door there. Oh, that's probably a good idea. And then if any, if any villagers ever get to this room, I'm going to leave this bottom ladder blank. Um, and then their AI cannot figure out what's going on. So now the villager breeder has started. I'm going to throw a bunch of potatoes on the ground for them to kind of pick up. So one... And then let's see if this guy will come get this other stack. No? Yeah, there we go. So now they both have a stack in their inventory. And that means that they are going to breed here pretty soon. Hopefully. They both have food. I'm also worried they're going to break the crops. Yeah. <laughs> they're just straight up going to break the crops. So uh, maybe we'll just put a row of brick there. Yeah, maybe we'll just put a row of brick there. Okay, I just cannot risk them falling in the hole. You know what I mean? Because then they'd be stuck, dude. I would not be able to get them out. Bruh. I don't know what happened. Can you guys get away from the one spot that I need to be in? Like, by hanging out, like, in this one little area that I have to be. Like, it's like, how do they know? Don't you dare fall. No, why do you have to stand on the one block? There's this whole, like, area, right? They could be over here. But no, they have to stand on the one... I'm gonna kill you. I really, I'll do it, dude. I have no remorse. I will kill you right now. Don't do it. <sighs> okay, we're good. So the farm's a little smaller than I like, but we can always expand this thing. It's not a big deal. Uh, but thank you guys for watching episode 16. I gotta record another episode now. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow. I really don't know. Um, maybe get some sponges. I don't know. It doesn't really sound too appealing, so we'll figure something out. But thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you. The secret code for today's episode is gonna be. 0983 so put that on in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's episode I would really be appreciative I'd also really appreciate a like on the video we built an entire double dungeon spawner and we also built a villager breeder underwater underground in a lush cave so that's pretty sick um, but yeah I'm looking forward to tomorrow's episode thank you guys again for watching I really do appreciate you guys so so much and uh, if you want to see me play other games again the Neocubus gaming link is down in the top pinned comment down below and also in the top link down in the description below so if you want to check that out you can again it's just the Neocubus and make sure YouTube doesn't correct it when you search it the Neocubus gaming if you don't want to have to search it though you just click the link and you go directly to it episode one of my Terraria let's play is up and more episodes are to follow shortly. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.